way saying that religion is bad or that there's no heaven and hell. We're just saying you shouldn't take it to extremes. So every time I hear the word fundamentalist, the question is, we got more shit from recycling and the environmentalists than we did from these um, uh, you know, so-called fundamentalist evil people. The question is, we are not talking about people or cultures or how they live. We're talking about what the truth is, and the truth doesn't care who's speaking it. And there are some people that you guys may not like with a can of beer, watching NASCAR in a double wide, that do not believe superstitious stuff, and let's bring them in and draw the line at the superstition, not at the culture. At the first amazing meeting, uh, Randy was asked uh, about a, an autobiography, or if there was a biography of him in the works. And he mentioned Teller as a potential author. Has he broached this topic with you? And is there something in the work? And is, is there anything we can do to encourage this? <laughs> yes, there is something in the works. That was actually uh, me. I've been talking to Randy for about a year. And it looks like, I was just talking to Randy here, it looks like... Uh, I'll be uh, working on a uh, biography with a writer from New York uh, of Randy. The bad news is it'll be in my voice. <laughs> Means I killed the woman for asking personal questions. <laughs> Before she had a microphone. Is Kramer somewhere in the... Is All he? Over here. Hi. Did you two or did you not burn a U.S. flag in the White House for Zoe Bartlett's birthday. You know, that's kind of like asking, did we meet Homer Simpson when we did the Simpson show? <laughs> uh, I, wrote, I wrote that B story to Left Wing, and it is the first part of, uh, of a bit in our show uh, of flag burning. What we kind of did was took the flag burning bit from our show and uh, spread it out as a B story over left wing, and uh, uh, we, uh, we did that. So yes, I guess we did burn a flag on uh, Zoe, what's your name? Bartlett. Bartlett. Hi, before your recent diatribe against religions, which mostly, which I agree with, I was going to ask you if you understood that not all religions are based on superstition. There are religions who do, who do practice and who do believe in the scientific method. And I would, in, in their small, their ethical culture, which is a religion, and they are Unitarian Universalists, which you mentioned in reference to heaven and hell, and as a Unitarian Universalist minister, it seems strange to me. And also, as someone who's been a skeptic for 60 years at least, I don't know where you get your facts. I know that most religions are based on superstition, particularly those in our nation. But I do would appreciate your cleaning up your language a little bit in terms of being inclusive of all religions. Because some of us have beliefs that are founded on facts. How are you, how are you defining religion? As a binding set of beliefs by which I live my life. Uh, how, how are you defining belief? I mean, I mean, I, I, that's belief my only question. Belief is not a feeling. I, I've looked through, uh, I've had this discussion many times, I've looked through uh, the OED, uh, the OED, Oxford English Dictionary, and most other dictionaries I've looked at have, uh, don't have that wiggle room on the word religion until it gets down a little bit. But my, I'll use the word bright because absolutely, if you believe nothing supernatural and you're pushing nothing that has to do with things you can't prove other than artistic, then I, I'm, I'm totally sorry and I'm completely wrong. It's the word religion that troubles me. I think that right. there's a sloppification of that word. I believe, and I, with, with all my sources right in the room, it's a little uncomfortable. I believe mm -hmm. Richard Dawkins, in a, in a paper that I read, uh, an essay that he wrote, addressed this issue in a really smart way 
but Richard Dawkins is so much smarter than me, I can't repeat it. Okay, uh, I'll have but, to look at that. But I will certainly, but, whatever Richard Dawkins says on this issue, I will agree with. Anything I said that disagrees with him, I was wrong. It's a long time. <laughs> it's a long time since I looked at the Oxford English Dictionary about this, but I have, within the last 10 years, looked at the American Heritage Dictionary a number of times to support our definition okay, of religion. Okay. I know that I know that Ingersoll uh, was uh, was very much in favor of that kind of thing going, and actually formed what was called a church and stood behind a church out of there. And I think may actually have been this thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I may be just dead wrong on this. Uh, uh, it seems like I I don't know why. This is not. This is not important. This is my personal uh, artistic feeling. I don't know why people who aren't superstitious are trying to align themselves with something so clearly insane as religion. You have to agree with me that if you go out on the strip right now and ask three or four people to name a religion. Uh, they are going to name religions that you may not agree with. I don't know why you're running to do that. If you're playing fugues, why are you going out of your way to call it heavy metal? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's my, I mean, I don't know what, to me, the word religion is a completely negative word. Why wouldn't you run away from it? But that's an artistic, that's an artistic and maybe even a, a PR question. But I, it, it confuses me. But I, you know, I, this is something that I'm not, an expert on, and I can tell that because there really is nothing I'm an expert on. So, <laughs> but um, but uh, I, I could easily be wrong. And if and I did say something that sounded very much like Unitarians believe in heaven and hell, and I think the reason it sounded very much like that was because that's what I said. And <laughs> I know better than that. I was wrong. <laughs> Kramer is now coming up here because there's no more questions. Uh, here we have the definition of religion. Belief in and reverence for a supernatural power or powers regarded as creator and governor of the universe. That's A. B is a personal or institutionalized system grounded in such belief. Uh, this is from the web, which means some 12-year-old could have made it up while on crack. But um, uh, <coughs> I don't know where this is from, Kramer, but... American Heritage Dictionary, the one that you cited. You know, Jamie, our voices come in handy sometimes, don't they? <laughs> so there it is, the American Heritage Dictionary. There is A. It's got the word God right there. But that doesn't mean just because this says that, that I'm not wrong because I often am. <laughs> What's that? There's probably, there are probably C and D. Yes, there probably are C and D. Uh, I don't know why you want that wiggle room. It seems like, you know, you want to call a duck a duck. Uh, you mentioned to me earlier that your use of, uh, that you, you don't care about offending people with your use of profanity and, you know, fuck them because you, your show isn't targeting for them. You're preaching to the choir. Uh, my question, uh, I guess part A is, do you think it's such a wise idea to only preach to the choir and not make some attempt at, uh, at, to, at maybe not toning down bullshit itself, but maybe producing something else that would uh, at least attempt to appeal to people who might be put off by the material in the show? Not that I'm offended with it. Well, that would, be, that would be a great show for you to do. Okay. <laughs> and, uh,